Ja, det er en nation med en ung befolkning Adam og Barrow nå overtar styringen av. Nær 40 prosent av befolkningen i Gambia er under 15 år. Bare 3 prosent er over 65. Vår gjest i kveld ønsker å vise frem unge Gambieres talenter og muligheter. Han er um, straks på plass her i studio, men uh, først en titt på dette. Momodola Minturai, filmskaperen og skuespilleren fra Gambia, ville vise hva som bor i Gambiere, de mange unge talentene. Og samtidig vise dem der hjemme at livet i Storbritannia ikke nødvendigvis er så glamorøst som det kan se ut. Resultatet ser du her, Nakala, eller på norsk Vashera, tv-serien som har tatt Gambia med storm. Five more five. Nå er han i gang med innspillingen til sesong 2. Det handler om kjærlighet. Utroskap. Sorg og sinne. Om å komme på kant med loven. Om å leve uten oppholdstillatelse og frykten for å bli kastet ut. Selv spiller han rollen som Sisko i Nakala, men som filmskaper har han mer på hjertet. I kortfilmen hans I Rise handler det om noe helt annet når han iscenesetter historien til en nær veninne. Hun ble kjønnslemlestet som liten, som så mange andre jenter fra Gambia. Nå gjelder det å redde den kommende generasjonen. Jeg var kjønnslemlestet når jeg var barn. Men jeg var 15. Jeg var forstet til å bli barn. Og de måtte reopene meg. Rolling. Bak kamera i London i forrige uke. Men synes du kanskje det er noe kjent med ham? Fra norske TV-skjermer. Kjent for nordmenn fra TV-serien Lilly Hammer, men også mannen bak TV-serien som tar Gambia med storm, Momodo Lamin Torai. Velkommen til Urix. Hva var din main goal med å gjøre denne serien? Hva ville du vilja si til unge bak i Gambia? Takk for veldig mye. Takk for at du er italien og du er bort av denne handel. Egentlig er Nakala TV-serien en interpretasjon av livet av Gambians i diaspora. It is, it is uh, uh, telling the stories of, of young people living in the diaspora, especially uh, with regards to immigration and migration, love and betrayal, you know, illegal, uh, kind, most especially illegal immigration. So it was some sort of a homecoming kind of production that was uh, uh, telling the people back home the realities of, 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 of Senegambians living in the diaspora. You lived and worked under the former president's uh, rule. How will you describe um, life in Gambia under President Jammer? Well, uh, on the life uh, in the Gambia under President Jammer was some sort of uh, a state of anarchy, uh, survival of the fittest. Uh, Yaya Jammer was a dictator. Uh, with Yaya Jammer, Gambians were, were alienated. Gambians were kind of uh, seeing him as some sort of a little god. He was competing against every Gambian. Yaya Jame uh, uh, torn families apart, individuals being tortured, decimated, uh, notable Gambians forced into exile, young people taking the back way uh, to get to Europe. 
you know, he was some sort of a, a man who was there for himself, but not for the Gambian people. And the Gambian people have been uh, going through a lot under the leadership of Yaya Jame. And uh, I think it was, it was a hard moment for, for all Gambians uh, that, that, that were uh, the Gambians that were living under the leadership of Yaya Jame. The new uh, president, Adama Barrow, was sworn in on, on Saturday. What are the expectations of the Gambian people to him? I mean, it was a, a, a grandiose uh, a celebration. It was a celebration that all Gambians were, were longing for. You could, you could, you could see the, the, the magnitude of, of that uh, big inauguration when he came on board and, and, and assured the Gambians that he was some sort of a... Uh, uh, it's like when you, when you get to a, 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 an airport, and, and there is a lot of like refugees, uh, you know, chaotic airport, and all of a sudden an alien airline lands on, on, on that airport. And you see people, you know, worrying, kind of insecurity, trying to get to destination unknown, destination for, 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 for peace, for democracy, rule of law that they would, 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 would observe every day. And there comes the pilot. My fellow Gambians, welcome on board. I am Adam Abaro. I will take you to the promised land. I will take you to the destination you've all been longing for. Solo Sunday fought tirelessly to make sure this day is observed. And today, I promise you, I will take you to the smiling coast we all knew before the Gambia, the land of the smiling cup. But will it be possible for him to live up to this enormous expectations? Well, I think Adam Abaro and his entourage, the whole establishment, uh, are people who, who get it up there. It's not about the government of Yaya Jame, whereby uh, uh, degrees are not very important at all. Like uh, university degrees are like toilet papers, but the people, the entourage of Adam Abaro, they get it. People, they are intellectuals. They're people who, who know the book of the Gambia, the constitution. They will be there to guide him towards the right way, the right direction, where every Gambian will see a reflection of themselves within that a mechanism that will, 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 will uh, configure the sunrise and sunset of the Gambia. So I think the expectations are high, but every Gambian will come together to join the bandwagon and celebrate with dignified joy and pride and make sure Adam Abaro will win. And inshallah, he will win. Mamadou Lamine thank you so much. Thank you so much.